All right, guys, new pneumatics lab number seven. This one is an OR circuit, and now we're going to make use of the shuttle valve. So before we had the OR circuit where we just had the, the two push buttons in parallel, the problem with that was that the air was exhausting out of the other switch. So now we need something in between those two switches in order to stop that from happening. So we're going to drop in the shuttle valve. You have everything set up on your board already. All you need to do is take the AND valve out. So take your two pressure valve off. Replace it with this shuttle valve with the exact same inputs and the single output, and you'll see that it goes from an AND circuit into an OR circuit. Okay, the symbol for the shuttle valve is this guy right here. Again, as we're doing this on the, the simulator, I want you to also draw it out on a piece of paper. That way it's going to solidify all the different uh, circuits and symbols. Because again, during the test, you're just going to get a blank sheet, and I'm going to ask you for one of these um, circuits that we're doing in class. And you have to write it out from start to finish, exactly the way that we're doing it on the simulator. This symbol right here is providing us with the exact same thing as we'd get from an OR gate. Anything you can do electrically, you can also do with pneumatics. All right, guys, let's check out the fluid sim and set this guy up. Okay, so from the previous lab, this is exactly what we had set up. So all we need to do is just grab this bad boy, take it out, and then replace it with the shuttle valve. So let's grab this guy right here. It's in shutoff valves and flow control valves. Drop that guy in, and then we'll just connect up our tubing, one input, the other input, and then our single output. Now we've changed it from an AND circuit to an OR circuit. Okay, so now hitting this guy, we'll make it extend. Hitting this guy, we'll make it extend as well. Okay, you'll notice that the ball is going to move over. The issue with the previous lab was that when we press this push button, the air was coming up and exhausting from two to three on the other push button. But now that we press this one and we've got a shuttle valve in there, then you can see that the ball has moved over, seated there. The air is now able to travel up and we have full pressure now up to our single acting cylinder. The spring in here is going to push back on the air when we let go of this switch and then the air is going to be able to exhaust out and come down and exhaust out from two to three. If I hit this other push button, then the air is going to go from one to two. This ball is going to move over. It's not really a ball in there. There's a, there's a me mechanism inside of the OR valve. It might not be a ball, but it's a mechanism that blocks the other output. Uh, but for drawing purposes, they use this ball to, to simulate blocking this portion and then allowing the air to go up. So hit this guy. Air goes from one to two. Seats this ball over here. We have full pressure from our compressor going up to our single acting um, cylinder. And then when we let it go, the spring is going to push this back, and the air is going to come down. It has blocked here, so the air is going to come down, and it's going to go from two to three. Ah, uh, yes. Excellent. Okay. Hit one, it moves. Hit the other guy, it moves. There we go. So we've now created an OR circuit just by taking out that one component. All right, guys, let's hook it up in the lab. Okay, so we had the and valve in here. Let's take that out of here. So we'll remove the two pressure valve here and we're going to replace it with a valve that looks almost identical there. Two seconds we'll just find it in the tackle box. So we're going to grab the, the shuttle valve. You can make it out with this embossed on the front here. It looks identical to the and valve. A little bit difference in size. Uh, but you can see the two symbols that are embossed on the front. So we're now grabbing this guy. We're going to use the shuttle valve and that's going to, I don't drop it all over the place, that's going to allow us to have an OR circuit now. Now the problem with the previous OR circuit was that the air was coming out of the other switch. So hopefully this will remedy it with the new shuttle valve. Okay, so we have a feed into either one of the push buttons. We then have a parallel feed into our shuttle valve. And from the shuttle valve, we now are going to our single acting cylinder. So this guy or this guy should allow it to extend. Okay, let's see. Well, we can hear now that there's no air coming out of the other switch. Pressing this guy, the shuttle valve has now effectively blocked the air coming from the other switch. And before we didn't have a decent amount of force. And now I can't keep this guy, I mean, it's thrown, but I can't keep it down. Right? I'm pushing as hard as I can uh, and a full pressure is now applied to the single acting cylinder. 
on the previous lap, I could take this and push it back down because it had a pass through exhaust out of the other switch. Okay, so last, just to go over this one more time, one push button or the other one is now going to work. And we've alleviated that issue where the air was exhausting out of the other switch because we're now making use of the shuttle valve or the ore valve. All right guys, thanks very much.